Hi there, Steve here, and welcome along to another OMSI video. Continuing our trips on the Bowden map. This time we've moved on, as you can see, to Route 52, going from Wooden High Road to Apsley Station. We've moved on from Chrono Event C, we're now on Chrono Event D, which takes place between 1989 and 1992. The time and date for this scenario I've got was the 23rd of September 1990, approaching midday. And we've gone for icy conditions. Not that it looks that icy out there, but I thought I'd change the weather from sunny that we normally do to icy. So let's jump in on board because we've only got about a minute to go for our first pickup. And as you can see, we're back in the SD77 again. So we'll get rid of the steering wheel, start it up. Well, it's pretty cold up there, so passengers are probably going to complain. So we'll crank some heat up. I still haven't quite worked out how this works. I did find the heat control, the fan control though. So we'll put the fan on nice and low. Pop the steering wheel back. And I think actually, I think I see. I need to pop some lights on, I think. And those are the lights. Yep, I've got some lights on. And we're ready to go. We've got a minute to go for our pickup, which is just around the corner on this one. So pop in gear. And let's go. Egg on the brakes then. Oh, that is our pickup here. Morning. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, hiya. Hello there. Hello, mate. All right. Okay. Wilson comfortably. Yep. Close the doors. So although we've driven the ST77 before, it is one of the buses used on this route, according to the chrono events anyway. Either the SD77 or the SD85. As we drove the SD85 last, I thought we'd go back to the 77 for this one. So I'll try not to use the same bus Oop. for two consecutive routes. Oop. Yeah, yeah. I've got to get used to that brake pedal. So a fairly long journey this one. About 35 minutes. I did think about chopping it up into two sections, but I thought with all these routes I'd actually leave them as their full route. Not talking to me then? No? Okay. Is that temperature now 2 degrees? Yeah, I think we might crank the heat up a little bit more. Again, I still don't know how this actually works. Uh, that one was down last time, so... Down to 1.8 degrees. That's pretty cold. Yeah, also what I'm trying to do with these routes is anything that comes and goes from Apsley bus station I'm trying not to start from the bus station all the time or end at the bus station so I'm going to alternate it one of the last ones we started from the bus station this one we go through it um, towards the end and then end up at Apsley station 
to steal with the same IBIS that doesn't tell you how late you are which is why I've got the information up here on the top of the screen we're 1.3 minutes late Welcome on board the fridge. 1.6 degrees now. So every time I open that front door it gets colder. And I think it's been one of those routes where we're not going to get much of an opportunity to have any distance between them. So we um, ram past Asda. Welcome. Hi there. Hi there. Day driver. Good day. The heating is on, but it's now getting colder. So I hope I can get on board. And it's 1.1 degrees now. Hello. Blimey, that temperature drops quickly. 0.6 degrees. Okay, is there a button I'm missing? Let's turn on the. That's lights. Is it one of the fans? Nice oh, wipers. This is now 0 0.7 degrees. I'm going to turn everything on. Shut the doors tonight, yeah. So the temperature drops like a stone whenever I open those doors. How are we doing for time? Two minutes late. Shops is next. Someone wants to get off now as well. So if this is the first one of these videos you're seeing of mine, I'm working my way through the Bodenham routes. Uh, advancing a chrono event at each time. If you want to know what the chrono events are, I've done an introduction to the map on my channel explaining what the different chrono events are. We're currently on chrono event D. We've done A, B and C. So we've done route 12 on A, 12A on B, 
route 47 on C and now we're on route 52 on D. The plan is to then go to 52A on E. So we'll work through all the routes and when we get to the last corner event which is O we'll then go back to A again until we've done all the routes. Someone wants to get off this time. So, off they get. Going to 1.5 degrees now. That's pretty cold. See, I did think about skipping like the AB variants of each route because they're pretty much in the same buses. But what I thought I might do for the A's and B's is actually change it up and use a, a bus that isn't from these maps. So use a different bus for those A and B variants. Hello. Hello. Again, if you'd rather me stick to the original buses, in the original livery, or the correct livery, then I'm happy to do that. Just leave a comment below. So there is a new OMSI video up on the channel every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6pm. Currently there's an ETS or ATS video up on a Saturday at 2 p.m. and something random on a random Sunday at 2 p.m. If you've got any suggestions from random Sunday for a cheap game or something you'd like to see or would like to see me continue one of the games I've previously played on a random Sunday, let me know. And if you'd like to see more content Currently there's no videos up on a Tuesday or a Thursday, so if you'd like me to continue one of those random Sunday games and make it a regular Tuesday or Thursday, then again, comment below. So someone's getting off and getting on. I hope I can get on because the temperature's just coming up. right on time as well. That's the same bus going the other way. Welcome aboard. Right, so I think we'll call Pond. Next one is, we can read that, Chiselton Manor. Just a little bit early on time. getting on or off so we'll drive past this one might give us a chance for the temperature to come up as well
voting them SO. Would they rename the stop if it got bought out by another franchise, I wonder? Someone getting off? Yep, off they get. Okay, we're actually very early. 1.3 minutes. I'm sure that won't last. Wait here a minute. Oh, she know I won't. Got traffic behind me. Let's go. I actually tried to do this route before and got horribly lost around by the hospital, which I seem to do every time a route enters the hospital. So I think no two routes go the same way around the stops there. I think now looking at the map that you get with the download, I think I know where I'm going. But we'll see if it's right when we get there. Speak to me then. Like okay, quite full up here. I do like the way that the bus actually gets a little bit dirty as well. It's brilliant in snow and wet conditions. Maybe we're a minute early. Let the traffic go. So that was actually house. think. It might be actually farm next. The temperature's coming up. A massive 4.3 degrees now. get off. Lantern Cottage is then is next. I like driving the modern buses but I do like the way this one sort of sounds and looks. cases is the first one of my videos you're seeing. Welcome. I do drive using a G27 and to look around I use Truck IR. Okay, put in here for a second as we are very early. A quick look around. We're getting quite busy inside. So they do look quite good from the outside these old buses. You like the way it looks. K 
say we're very early. Wait to guess at two minutes, then we'll go again. Do as real bus drivers do. So we're ahead of time, we'll slow down. Right, so this is where we're hopefully not going to get too lost. We've got to go to the hospital main entrance. And I think we go in, we go to the main entrance, we turn around around about and come back out again. So the signage the arrows around the hospital are not that good. I'm actually hoping these lights are going to be red then. And claw back some time. Hello. A lot of people getting off. I don't know if it's actually rocking. I don't know if that's rocking because of people getting off. It's quite cool if that is. Right, so two minutes early. Temperature's coming up slowly. That fan is getting slightly annoying. Turn it down a little bit. I'll close the doors. See if the temperature rises. See it? Quick looking around. Clutch pedal if I push it. it doesn't actually operate. But that advances the IBC. So Villa Allotments is the next stop. Are we getting on? No. There is ticketing available here. So all different values of ticket tickets. So you got uh, five, three, one fifty is a child return, child single, and a single. So you you touch it, and then they take that, and then you got your change. So you get a change here, and the change appears in there. I might actually turn ticketing back on for one of the next videos, just to give it another go again. One point one minute. Let's go. So, round a roundabout, I'm thinking. Straight back out again. Oh, that appears to be right. Fuel gauge over here. I'm guessing that's uh, one of those brake pressure, Tem engine temperature, maybe. a minute early, that's not too bad. Oh, hello. Yeah, I drive using the G27, so currently Although there are some manual buses in this game, the clutch I've got used to advance the uh, IBIS. 
accelerate and brake, obviously your accelerate and brake. Paddles on the steering wheel are used for the indicators, left and right. But because they don't cancel one of the buttons on the left of the steering wheel, I use to cancel the indicators. And then on the controller, or by the gear stick, I've got the four buttons there. One that removes the steering wheel, two that opens the doors, and one that sets the station brake. So they're all nicely accessible. Here, there, when the back doors close, and I generally do look in the mirror up there just to see when they close. So, using a G27 with this game makes a hell of a difference, and to look around using the track IR as well makes it a lot better. Although, I did start playing it, I did use a Xbox 360 controller, which worked well. A little bit of a slow approach there. Not speaking to me then? No? Okay. What are we doing on time? We're exactly on time. Look at that. One of those games that on certain routes you actually get relaxed into the route. And on some of them, especially some of the longer ones like this one is, it's actually a bit of a shame when you get to the end. So that was Frederick Street, we've gone past that. Hampton Row is the next one then. 4.2 degrees on there. Oh, wrong side of the road. So we'll crank the heating back up again. This isn't actually one of the longest routes in the game, there is longer, which of course we'll come to in the series. There's one of the school bus ones later on, we actually have to use a coach as well. The drive, which is quite nice, although very quiet. No one's speaking to me anymore. Is it that cold up there? You can't speak. And one of the further scenarios actually has you drive in a little Mercedes minibus. And the only model I could find was awful. It was really bad. So if you're watching this and you know of a better model for driving a Mercedes, or better model for the Mercedes minibus, then yeah, please leave a comment or a link below. The standard one linked in a download for this map isn't great. Okay, that's a row. This meadow view then. Meadow view, I can't really see any meadows around here. Talking to me then? Okay. Hey, wait there. Thank you. So, next stop, Q. 
queue lane. getting on but someone getting off. Okay, where did they go? Five points corner is next. You wait there, I have one of those cars. Same colour as well. Approaching back to the uh, for town hall. This is where we normally come to the left to go across in the last videos. So you've got to turn right here, this little handy cutout to make the swing a lot easier. Like that. It's only just made it. So this is actually town hall, yep. Hello. Hello, lad. It's been a long time since I was a lad. So, actually, bus stations next. This is where we started and finished a couple of the journeys so far, but this time we're going straight through. Because we're going to the train station. Where a lot of these people seem to be going. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Good day, driver. Good day. Hello. Hello. Okay, you're making me late now. Hurry up and get on. That's it. Yeah, I'm not waiting for you to sit down. Hold on tight. Actually, house is next then. I'm a minute late now, it's not too bad. I might want to make that up going up this hill. Okay, I might get done by the speed camera down here. Oh, I reckon we just about did it. Hello, mate. 
Hello. Hello. Okay, this is where it can get confusing. Straight arrow actually doesn't mean straight down there, it means straight around here. But if you want me to go straight on there, it'll actually be a right arrow. I'm getting off? No, just getting on. Hello, mate. Hello. We're on time. 0.9 of a minute late. Not bad. Stanton Street, next stop. So yeah, this is quite a long route, but it's not actually the longest in the game. We will get to that. Sit down. Yes, that little slight surge there is because it wouldn't let me go until the rear doors are closed. Okay, out the station. Going towards the last stop. Getting off here. A pair of identical twins are getting off. And now you hear everybody get off now. Listen. walking around upstairs. station. So off the all get. I mean, there's a lot of people on there. Doors closed, but it's not the end yet. Just to end the scenario. We've got to go around. 
around here. Park up over here. And there we go. So how do we do? We did okay a little bit early in sun, but overall, not bad at all. So there we have it. Route 52 from Wooten to Apsley Station in the MAN SD77. Now next there are a couple of options. Um, I'm very tempted to do 52A then 52B in the correct buses. So the SD85 and then the SD77 again. However I think I might actually change it up and use a different bus possibly. Um, we'll see how things go. But that's it done. Very long route. Thanks for your patience if you're still watching up to, at this point. I show you're a true OMSI fan if you're still here. Um, if you are still here and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, please subscribe. As you would have seen, there are no ads on the channel. I'm not doing it for the millions I can get in YouTube revenue. I'm doing it because I enjoy OMSI and hopefully you do too. On that note, if you have been, thanks for watching. <laughs>